Hello and good evening. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing The Blood Keeper by Tessa Grattan, published by Random House Books Doubleday. I managed to finish this book today, and I would like to share with you what it is about, first of all. For Mab Proud, the practice of blood magic is as natural as breathing. It's as she's ever known. Growing up on an isolated farm in Kansas, with other practitioners may have kept her from making friends her own age, but it has also given her a sense of purpose. She's connected to the land and protective of the magic, and she is able to practice it proudly and happily out in the open, with only the crows as her companions. Mab will do anything to keep the ancient practice alive and guard its secrets. So one morning, while she is working out a particularly tricky spell, she encounters Will, a local boy who is trying to exercise some mundane personal demons. He experiences Mab's magic in a way his mind cannot comprehend and is all too happy to end their chance meeting. But secrets that were kept from Mab by earlier generations of blood magicians have come home to roost and she and Will are drawn back together, time again by this dangerous force looking to break free from Earth and to reclaim its own dark power. I got this book from the library and it's a pretty big book. It's a really pretty cover on it. I love covers that are so pretty and like even the back of it's nice and pretty as well. This is the second book in the series. The first one is Blood Magic, if you can see that. So this is just um, somewhat related to the first one, like character-wise, like some of the characters are in it, but only like briefly. It also has another cover to it, which is like this one, which you can find on Goodreads. That's the cover they show on there, and the one that I printed off as well. Funky. As far as the characters go, you have two main ones, which is Mab the girl and Will the guy, and they sort of alternate their stories throughout the whole book, of from their point of view and and whatnot. And in between the chapters, there's also like a, a page or two um, of a chapter from something that's happened in the past from someone that's written in different fonts, so you can recognise it. So if you first read it and you sort of see the chapter, it might throw you off a bit because you'd be like, whoa, new, something new is going on or like, what the hell's going on? Like, that's gone away from the present time sort of thing. But you soon get used to it. Out of five stars, I'm going to give this book four stars because it wasn't really amazing, but it had some points that were, were nice and gripping, but it was a pretty good it's still a pretty good score for this book. It's got a different sort of storyline that I've read from other books, so that's why I've given that score. Whether it's worth buying is up to you, whether you're into witchcraft or blood witchcraft or anything like that. I mean, it's got some romance in it, so if you like that sort of thing. I mean, it's different, so I mean, another thing, if you like big books, because this book is big, like, it's huge and it's really heavy. So that is the end of my review for the book The Blood Keeper by Tessa Grattan. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. I've got another review to do and that is Fifty Shades of Grey by E.L. James. So, oh yeah. Thank you for watching as always. And I'll keep in touch because I'm always going to be reviewing books because I always want to